is the day of my very last exam of my entire law degree. So I'm going to be bringing you guys along for the day. It's a 24 hour exam. It's not releasing until a little bit later on. This morning I've just been doing some readings to prepare for it. I think this is probably the least prepared I've been for an exam or like at least one of the least prepared. But it is 24 hours. But I've basically been finding it quite hard to find readings and the module convener didn't really give us any academic reading. If I didn't say it's a competition or exam. So this morning I've literally just been like trawling through Westlaw trying to find some articles that I think might be relevant and I am praying for a question on digital markets or potentially something to do with Brexit which I feel like could definitely come up but his questions are quite like long and specific so I am a little bit nervous especially because I haven't done as much revision as I usually do so this might be a stressful 24 hours but I'm about to hop on or call in a little bit and then I will be doing some reading I think until the exam releases. I'm just about to head out for a walk it's nearly 2 30 I think I've got about half an hour so I'm gonna go get some fresh air refresh my brain and then we'll be ready to start my exam. <laughs> The exam releases at 2.30 and it's currently quarter past two. I'll have until 2.30 tomorrow to submit it and I have to answer one essay question and one problem question. I don't feel hugely well prepared for this but I think this might be like quite a stressful 24 hours trying to do like readings, trying to like learn stuff, understand stuff potentially but just because I didn't really know what to prepare for and I've just done quite a few of these now so I think I just didn't feel the need to like go through all of my notes. I am actually feeling quite nervous for this one. <laughs> here and say a quick thank you to Berger for sponsoring today's video. Berger is a tech accessories brand and they sell the most gorgeous and unique designs. So the phone case that I have on my phone at the moment is this gorgeous green swirl design one which is in the tough case version which means that it has double layer protection and shock absorption. It covers the entirety of the phone and has a raised bezel to protect the screen and is also raised around the camera. They have more than a hundred unique and beautiful designs to choose from. So they also sent me two of their elite cases. We have this sort of green one and then we also have this sort of dotty one. So the cloud guard technology in these cases absorbs up to 90% of impact for. It also has HQ image anti-fade technology and I think these would make a lovely gift as well. They have gorgeous packaging. And then what I absolutely love is that they also have different products. So I also have a laptop case which matches this phone case and I've also never had a laptop case but I do carry it around a lot with uni so it's really cool to have something to protect my laptop and then I also have the water bottle which matches the three very very cool and they've also sent me this gorgeous mint water bottle and then I also got the airpod case which matches my phone case is so cool. I'm gonna look like the coolest girl in the library. And of course I have a discount code for you guys which I will put on the screen and I will also leave in the description box down below and that will get you 15% off. So make sure you click the link in my description to check out those products and I really hope you guys love them as much as I do. Let's get back to the exam. So guys it's quarter past four. I've started on the essay question. I think I've written about 700 or 800 words. There was a question on digital markets so that's what I'm doing which is very handy but I was right. There's like a big passage and it says like critically analyze the whole passage so there's like a lot to unpack in there but I think I'm going to focus more on some bits than I am on others so yeah it's not going badly I'm going to have a quick break because I'm getting a little bit bored and distracted so I'm going to go make myself a cup of tea and then get straight back to it <laughs> Thank you. 
we have finished the essay. We have 400 words over, but I am gonna go make some dinner and then carry on. a bit too much. I'm absolutely terrible at judging how much pasta I need to eat, but I made some homemade pesto for dinner. How good does that look? So guys, I think it's just gone 10pm and I had a little bit of a break for dinner. I watched a bit of TV and then I moved on to doing some problem question work and it is not going as well as the essay went. I just find it really hard. Like, I don't really know what the legal issues are. I don't feel 100% confident that I have identified the legal issues, that I'm structuring it correctly. I'm just really not feeling very confident. But I'm thinking maybe I should leave it for tomorrow and do it with a fresh mind tomorrow. And hopefully, like, the bits that I have done, I will go back and be like, oh, no, okay, like, I can see where I've gone wrong. Or, oh, no, actually, that does make sense when I'm a little bit less tired. But the only thing is, I know that I probably am not going to sleep very well. I probably will be having stress dreams about like not submitting it or just dreaming about competition. I'll probably think I'm going to hop in the shower and then probably go to bed, call it a night. I'll probably get up fairly early, seeing as I have plenty of time in the morning. But I don't want to get around to it and be like, oh my god, I need to read this case, this case. I need to do this, this and this. And then actually have like a really finite amount of time to do it all in. But I have had to read over some case law and stuff. Good morning guys, I've just had some breakfast and I'm about to make a start, it's half eight. I really don't want to do it, but it's literally like a matter of hours until I finish my degree now. I am finding this problem question hard, so I'm just gonna try, get my head down, um, finish it. I'm really worried that I'm not gonna do very well in it, but I can only do what I can do at this point. So yes, I'm gonna get back to work and I'll catch up with you later on. final exam, final submission of my degree, and my entire degree finished. Random Tuesday in my bedroom, and I've completed my degree, so it's slightly anticlimactic, but I'm sure it will sink in soon. So yeah, it's one o'clock, so I've still got an hour and a half before it's due, but I've submitted it, I had some lunch, and then reread it over with like fresh eyes. But yes, I don't think I'm gonna do any more. I don't feel hugely confident on the problem question part, but like, I don't know if me carrying on looking at stuff will actually help that much. I usually get to the point where I'm like, I just don't really want to look at this anymore. I think the essay question was okay, but I'm concerned that I've like maybe missed legal issues or like my analysis wasn't very good for the problem question. And I usually do worse in problem questions than I do in essay questions. So hopefully my essay grade like drags it up a little bit. But yes, we will see. So yeah, that is my degree done. And I guess thank you guys for all coming along for the journey. Because this is going to be obviously the last uni vlog at Exeter, which is crazy. And you guys have been here for two years of it, bit of a moment. Thank you guys for all of the support and everything through it. Just got this package in the post. So someone has surprised me with some flowers, which is very sweet. So let's have a look and see who it was. It's from the boyfriend. Um, that's the card and um, let me show you the flowers. I think I'm going to sign off the video here. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. And don't worry, I will be bringing you along for the next chapter of law school and stuff. So this is not the end of uni vlogs or law school vlogs because we have next year.